What was my favorite trip over the 217 season? Well, that's a tough one because we went on a lot of really cool fishing destinations. I'd have to say it was a trip that Ty Shadeen and I took. On this particular trip, Ty and I are flying into Brace Lake Outfitters in Ontario for an exciting fins and fur excursion. My goal is to get into some hot and heavy walleye and pike action while my buddy Ty is trying to stick a big black bear with a bow. And from what lodge operator Kyle Pulaski tells us, the odds are good that we're gonna do both. They've already had one heck of a season. Brace Lake is one of those remarkable waters where multi-species action comes quick and easy. Many of the pike were in big weed beds, and the walleyes, they're virtually everywhere. And portable electronics cuts the search down quickly. Definitely a fun morning, gorgeous scenery, and a bend in the rod. Boy, look at them right there. I can see a whole bunch of them on the depth finder. That's one thing when you come to these uh, Canadian uh, lakes, you got to really come prepared, you know, and I mean somewhat streamlined, you know, because you just don't have that much room to uh, bring all your gear on the plane. So when you're preparing for walleyes, pike, or bass, you got to be rigged in a way that you can uh, catch a variety of, of different fish, whether they be deep or shallow. Right now, I'm actually sort of just popping jigging wraps out in deeper water. We're in 22 foot of water. But when you look over to my right here, I actually have some type of a shallow water presentations, uh, crankbait, a little sh uh, shad dancer. I got a jig presentation, big bite with a uh, VMC moon, moon eye jig that's really efficient for covering uh, uh, shallower water situations. But right now I'm on a little frenzy of a deeper water bite, 22 foot of water off a sunken hump and there's just oodles and oodles of walleyes like this. And you can catch them, you know, a couple of different ways. The jigging wrap is just just so efficient. I can also catch them on that big bite, uh, uh, just a VMC and a big bite soft plastic uh, body is a, as well. We'll catch these fish. We'll get her back into the water. But I can tell you one thing, there's a whole bunch of them down there, which is sort of fun. It's one thing that's really probably one of the most important pieces of equipment you bring up on a trip like this is a depth finder. This is actually my Helix 5 that I actually use for ice fishing. And I just have a transducer bracket. But the biggest thing, it has a, uh, a zero lines card in it, which what it does, it has a map of every lake in North America. Even that though that this lake does not have a really refined uh, depth contour map what i do have is the perimeter or the 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 shape of this lake which is really critical since i've never been on this body of water this is a pretty pretty big uh, lake system there's like actually three lakes combined together we have brace meta as well as uh era so it's actually a pretty good sized system Put it. But I tell you one thing, there are more wallies in this lake than you'd imagine. And just the average size fish is just amazing. I mean, fish after fish like this. Come here, buddy. Okay, we'll give you a quick scoop. And then, there we go. You can see how I had that guy hooked. Really deftly. Just the jigging wrap. Perch colored, yellow perch. One of the hottest bait presentations. But as I was saying, this hummingbird uh, helix, what's really so nice about this is being able to uh, save coordinates. I drive around a big underwater structure like this and I'm just dropping coordinates all the time, all the time wherever I see fish, marking out sort of the shape and the contour of an underwater structure so you know how it's uh, shaped. And that's what's really key to finding fish, you know what I mean? Because most of the time the fish are sitting in pretty uh, specific locations, like right there. There's a whole bunch of them right there. 
and once you identify where those fish are at, it doesn't take long to get, get bites from them. Whoop, oh, they're, that's what I mean, sight fishing like that. See, as soon as I see them, if I hold, held the boat on this spot, I'd get, get a fish just about every drop. Come here, buddy. And I tell you one thing, if you were in the mood for shore lunch, which I sort of am, I'd like to box up a couple of those guys. See, I saw him come up and get it. Let me tell you something about Brace Lake Lodge. It's pretty incredible what Kyle and Terry have done with this place. It's hard to believe, but these two run the whole show from top to bottom and are raising a two-year-old at the same time. I don't think these guys sleep. The menu is top-notch, and it's a big attraction with many of the repeat guests. Absolutely five-star from appetizers through dessert. As for the surroundings, it's unspoiled wilderness as far as the eye can see. Absolutely gorgeous. Kyle was right on the money. I caught so many walleyes and pike, my arms were actually sore. And Ty, well, he finally got his trophy black bear. Kyle, for everything you did on this trip, you made it, you made it happen.